Uh, the trip has been a blast, you know, so far so good. We got good weather out here in London. It's actually my second time out here in London. It's been a minute, I was here in 2012 with LRG crew. Good to be back, you know. The skate scene here is pretty amazing, so yeah, hyped. So that, that's like the century, you know, that's why we started skating. Skate with the friends and then it just became like, I mean, it's my job, but like, you know, I do what I love. So like traveling with your friends, doing what you love, it's like, you can't, you can't get better than that, you know? So it's pretty amazing travel with my friend. Now that I'm on Adidas, I can hang with TX and Miles, you know, and all those people that I always look up to and then one of my best friends too. So it's always amazing any trip, it's pretty cool. It was just cool because like Street League back then it was so selective, you know? And then when I got to be able to make a part of that, just, you know, skating one of the best pros around, you know, it made me push the level of my skating too. So it was cool to be a part of that since 2015. I mean, I got hurt in 2016, so I couldn't skate the whole season. And then just bring it back on the board and be able to skate with all, you know, the best skateboarders on the planet. Fucking kind of, you know? So it was just cool to be a part of it, you know? Like it just street skated, I guess, you know? You know, it's a little bit different than what it is because of TV, because of skate parks and all that, but I know I gotta do good, whatever, it would be cool to do good, but like, don't get me that nervous is because if Tree League wasn't here, I must do nollie flip every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, if all this shit wasn't here, I must do skateboarding, you know? That's why I like, I got all my like, my nervous and all the pressure out of me, but like, you know, on a Monday, this is all gonna be in, I'm gonna go skate. So like, still the same thing, you know, still the same feeling, so. It's cool to be a part of it, and if it wasn't this, I would probably be somewhere else doing the same tricks or something, you know? Um, so, long story short, um, I had a dream to skate Tampa because as I grew up in Brazil, you know, like, um, there was not that many opportunities out there, and I skated a lot of contests in Brazil. And I got to the point of, like, dude, my dream is to, you know, I started getting a lot of, like, um, knowing about skateboarding a little more. And I know there was a contest in the U.S. that I want, I want to go there, I want to skate. And then like, I came from like a poor family that I didn't have much, you know? And then like, my dad kind of like, saw that I was pretty good on skateboarding because I won so many contests and I had a little bit of sponsor over there. And then he knew that was my dream. And then somehow we need to get there, you know? My dad, mom and dad was like the most supportive of me. It was my first sponsor and would always be. Um, he saw there was a opportunity over there for me and he sold the family car. We got two tickets to Tampa a thousand dollars and just kind of went chase the dream you know went out there I didn't spoke English I didn't have no registration and it just kind of mean to be and then ended up winning the contest and then everything the door just opened for me everybody knew who I was you know but like I still couldn't even like speak English and do anything so I went back to Brazil my mom was kind of sick and then drop high school drop everything I told dad like I can't be here no more like it's it, I just like unlock another level in my life. I gotta go see what's there. So my dad is just fully like shot in the dark, you know? He didn't know like, and back then like 10 years ago, what was skateboarding, you know? But like 10 years ago, my dad did not know what was gonna happen, you know? And then I moved from Brazil, I was 15 years old by myself, slept on somebody's couch for days, you know? Like no English, no nothing like to become who I am today, you know? It's all because my dad fully believed me before I even did. So yeah, shout out to my dad, mom and dad, family. Family's my base. Well, we're such a, like, a poor country on that aspect, you know, for sports, you know? There's not that much support from us, you know? And then when we come here, when we go anywhere, we just take advantage of like, you know? That was the only shot I had. If I didn't do that, I'd probably be in Brazil, you know? So I, when I had the chance, we just give 100% into that, you know? because we're trying to make better for families, right, and make better for ourselves, you know? And then, I think that's what it is. Everybody that comes from Brazil is like, look, man, you got a visa, you got an opportunity, you got somewhere to stay, make it happen, you know? Like, not that we're putting pressure on ourselves, but like, is it a day or are you going back to wherever you at, you know, where are you from, with no sources, no nothing? So like, that's the way I took, you know? Like, I was like, dude, I, I got this going on, and if I don't, I gotta put 100% here, because if it, one thing happened, we all gonna be good back there, you know? So that's the way I think, like, even for soccer players, for anything, you know, like a job-wise, like, we just like really, not really hungry, but like really, how do I say, um, I don't know, like, you just like, we really like hungry for the best, you know? Cause 
it's not that many opportunities out there. And when it is, it's super hard, you know? I used to be sponsored by a distribution in Brazil that had sold Plan B back in the day. And when I skated to Tampa AM, I had a Plan B hat on it. And I had Plan B wheels and like some silver tracks and anyways. And then I already knew what Plan B was when they first relaunched the team again, PJ and all these people were like, I want to be on that team. Like I need to be there, you know? So like when I, when I came to California afterwards, I started filming and stuff and then like, I saw like B-Rod and then like all this dude in, um, in a skate spot. I'm like, I want to talk to P-Rod. I'm like, who's the team manager? I want to send my tape, you know? Like, you just skating with the dudes. It was just like, you know, every time, like, when the first time PJ like called me to go skate, it was like trip. I was like, holy shit. Like, my favorite skate ever just called me to go skate. He picked me up in a Cadillac. I was like, damn, you know? So I was definitely tripping on that. And then, like, I got to the point that Colin McKay told me, the dude's like, you know how the industry was, like, really bad. And I'm like, yeah, dude, we don't have a space for you on the team. Like, we can't give you anything. And, like, Look, man, I don't want to go anywhere. If you give me the boards, I'm going to stay here forever because I love this shit. I don't want to be on plan B, you know? I can't see myself going anywhere. Calling just something like, dude, if you have an opportunity to go anywhere, just go, you know? And I have, like, mad companies hit me up, all this shit, but, like, I'm not for the money. I'm for the love here. I want to ride for plan B, you know? And I told Colin that, and Colin just like, damn, this kid is tight. Like, yeah, we fuck with this kid, you know? And then, like, and that's me riding for flow for three years. And then the stuff that started came out. I had a digital part came out. And then like, I don't know, a couple of stuff in the barracks and like photos in the magazine and stuff. And then that was one day that I, they did that Plan B United Nation at the barracks in 2010. And then they invited me to go there. That was my first time that I ever skated with everybody. With Tori, with like, you know, Shax. And then I ended up like finishing the video. I had the last part in the edit. And then that day on a Friday, I signed my Plan B contract at the barracks. Yeah, so like the two Tom Jones back now with the brand manager is like, there's nothing we can do about it. We gotta sign you up. There's no way. I remember getting a raise at the moment. He's like, no, fuck this. Like, you ain't getting that much money. You getting way more, you know. So I signed my contract to Barry's 2010, and then since then it's been a blast. You know, we're going to the best trips ever. Just skating with your favorite skaters and can't beat that. You know. So yeah, I'm like Plan B for life. Quit DC with the whole shit that happened and I wasn't happy there. Like, he got me back to that point. I want to skate with my friends, you know? I love all the DC homies. We are homies, Evan, Wes, Tiago, and everybody. But like, got to the point that like, I, I was there for seven years and I wanted to do something different, you know? To spark my life up, even for my career, for my progression, you know, skateboarding. I want to be able to skate with my friends again and go to trips and stuff. And then um, that whole thing happened in December and I'm like, okay, now like, who, who do I want to skate with? And I was like, damn, TX is one of my favorite skaters, Miles. And I was like, dude, I just went in and bought a couple pairs of Adidas. Buy the shoes. And then, like, even back then, I tried to get, like, something going with Adidas. But, like, yeah, the team's full. We just did the video. I was like, I totally understand. I don't want to be on the team right now. I just want to get the kid's shoes so I can skate, you know? So I got the shoes. And, like, so I started buying a couple things for a couple months. And then they started getting me packaged, just sending shoes, sending shoes. And then... I started filming, just like doing my thing, you know, skating the contest here and there. And then in October last year, it finally popped up. It was like after like 11 months of me just getting shoes, not getting paid, not getting no trips, no nothing. And just like, they introduced me in Brazil, you know, they're like, yo, you want to fly over there and film an intro video? I was like, holy shit, start crying, calling my dad and all this stuff. I was really hyped because that was something that I really want to be a part of, you know? I did it such a big team, but in the same time too, like they do so much different stuff, you know? You can tell there's always stuff coming out for everybody, you know? Nobody's just over there in the gutter like, oh, that dude is C-Rap for this? No, that dude is on the clip, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to be a part of that, and in my career now, it's like, they end up happening, they asked me to film the intro video, and then like, I went, went all these trips, I got more support, and I fucking love the shoes, you know? And then, it's just been a blast. Not even a year, and I'm already hyped as shit. <laughs> Um, so yeah, got all this like contest thing, doing it, then, but going to Barcy on a Monday, trying to film a part for Adidas, hopefully by the end of the year, to have all this like, you know, Diego just had a part, a bunch of other people involved, I guess Brian Peacock's having a part or something like that, and then um, they want uh, me, Miles, TX, and Lucas to have like a little something, so 
yeah, I'm working towards then. Hopefully, it comes down in December. Full power for Adidas will be tight. Yeah, I'll be sick.